What up? Let's give you a good old spin. <laughs> Chief just follows me wherever I go. We're just going for a little walk. We've been seeing so many different friends here in Denver. Um, it's almost every day we're seeing somebody new, visiting with someone. Um, we're staying at our friend's house here. Uh, they have like a whole another like house in their basement, so they're letting us use that space. So we were there last night and the night before. Chief, come here. They were, we were at some different friends' uh, apartment before that. Uh, there's just really not a lot of camping spots here in Denver. We found two different places that we could go and camp and set up the tent. And one was, it was 30 bucks a night. And the other place was at the end of this like alleyway. And it was just like gravel, kind of flat area. And it said that you could camp there, but the, it was all fenced in like around. So you're basically at a dead end and you're fenced in. It just didn't seem like the safest place to to camp overnight and so uh, we have uh, plenty of friends here that have offered us to stay with them so that's what we've been doing anybody ever ask you what your biggest pet peeve is I feel like that's a common question when you're like getting to know people is like you know what's your what's a pet peeve of yours what's something that kind of you know drives you crazy or makes you frustrated and not that I want to focus on something negative today but I want to talk about um, something that is super important to me about my character and when I don't see it in other people it's hard for me and that is being a man of your word or being a woman of your word and what that means to me is if you say you're gonna do something then you should do it come here Chief, come here <laughs> three chihuahuas are trying to attack chief through the fence hey there's a lot of dogs here it's better to not say that you're gonna do something and to do it than to say you're gonna do something and not do it. There's a park over here, let's just walk over there. So if your answer is a yes, then your actions should be a yes. If your answer is a no, then your actions should be a no. So say someone asks you like, hey, are you gonna be able to come by this Saturday and help us paint our fence? Then if you say yes, I'm gonna be there, then do everything you can to be there and you know, be a man of your word. If you say, no, I'm not gonna be able to be there. Um, and obviously there's times where you can like change your plans and say, hey, you know, something else came up, but at least you're communicating that. What drives me crazy is when someone is like, hey, I'm gonna do this, or uh, we had someone offer something for us that was gonna be huge for this channel, and it was like, hey, yeah, totally, I'll do that. And that was the last time uh, we, I talked with that person, and they never ended up doing it. And maybe they'll do it someday in the future, but it's been you know, several months since then, and I've kind of just let it go, um, but it got me super frustrated at first because it's like you get your expectations up or your hopes up you're like man this would be awesome and then I have done the same thing uh, there are things that I've even said to Taylor and to myself of like hey I'm gonna you know go 30 days and I'm gonna work out every morning for 30 days and I'll say that like I'll say it to myself and I'll say it to Taylor and then I don't end up doing it and it just drives me crazy so even when it's something that I've said and I'm not being a man of my word. It drives me crazy. And then when other people do it, it drives me crazy too. And to be honest, I, I lose a little bit of respect for other people when they don't follow their word 
or they don't live up to what they commit to uh, verbally and so that's just something that is probably a pet peeve of mine something that just kind of drives me crazy look at this thing it's like a giant cone and then you can climb inside of it and the whole thing spins that's pretty cool you can climb up to the second level and there's a hole you can climb in here and this whole thing spins that's that's pretty cool so i'm not just talking about other people that have done me wrong that way or other people wrong that way i'm talking about myself too and trying to challenge myself to be a man of my word and that's something part of my character uh, development that I have worked hard on uh, for a long time you know multiple years and it's not something that I have completely figured out but it is super hard when like there's someone that I respect or look up to and they don't follow through and you got to have you got to have grace for those people you got to have room to just like hey you know they're not perfect I'm not perfect and, and be able to let it go um, there's a great quote that uh, says bitterness is like drinking poison and wishing the other person would die and so bitterness only ends up hurting yourself and so holding on to you know bitterness or being angry about something that somebody else did you know it really doesn't do you any good so yeah it's good to just let those things go and just keep moving on with life and look towards the future and just try to do better next time whether it's yourself or uh, responding to someone else doing you wrong or anything like that i don't know if that made any sense but that's just kind of what i'm thinking about today so comment down below if you feel like you can relate at all or if there's something i said that didn't make sense or if you disagree with something feel free to comment down below let's see if we can put chief inside this thing load up <laughs> there he is all right let's Let's give you a good old spin. There he goes. Hey, Chiefy. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Let's see if he can figure out how to get to me. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Taylor's uh, back at the house, our friend's house, and uh, she's just hanging out. We're doing a little bit of work today, and then we're meeting up with some other friends for dinner, and then we're going to stay at their house. So it's been super great. There's so many people, like I said, that we know here in Denver. We have awesome community here, and so it's just been really good to take this whole month and just kind of slow down and see everybody catch up there's one friend in particular his name is Anthony and he refused to be in a video and I really wanted him to be in a video because he is like one of my best friends he was a groomsman in our wedding and he was my roommate when we were in grad school um, so Anthony if you're watching this uh, I hope you're doing well man and I'm putting you in a video even though you don't want to be in one but Anthony uh, is just he's one of those people that like he he cares about stuff like being a man of your word and character development and and stuff like that and I, I look to Anthony's character and like I definitely look up to look up to him in that way he's just a solid guy videos every day we've been doing it we've been going making videos and today to be honest I was just like Taylor I don't I don't know what to make a video of today this kind of topic was something I was thinking about today so good boy good boy if you're new to our channel my wife Taylor and our dog chief here we've been traveling uh, in our truck for the last six months visiting our friends and family across the country we're in uh, Colorado right now we're headed towards Kansas and then Tennessee and we don't know after that um, but we've been meeting up with other youtubers as well and that's been super fun and just uh, inviting you to come along and join the journey so if that's something that sounds interesting to you push that subscribe button all the way in click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos 
and help us win the thumb war by clicking the thumb war button down below on this video. We'll see you later. Hats off to you. Hey, come here.